Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel Love for Intuitive Astrology. Today I will talk about the month of September 2022 for the sign of Pisces. So I recommend you to watch this video if you have your sun, your moon or your rising sign in Pisces. I'm so sorry for this fan in the back, I really hope it doesn't make too much noise but I'm filming this during the 8th 8th portal in August and it is so warm here. <laughs> I'm in the south of Spain, it's literally like so humid and I'm sweating all day. So I need to have some fresh, fresh air to make the best video for you. So my lovely Pisces, it's so good to speak to you again. I just want you to keep in mind this is a general reading, so see what resonates with you. I also do private readings, so you find all the details in the description box below. And when we're talking about the de details, DJs, I want to say DJs, or do we have some DJs watching? I mean, that would be pretty cool. So yeah, give me a comment below if we have some DJs watching, because then it's no coincidence I'm saying it wrong. Um, so my lovely Pisces we are starting off this month with a virgo season that will be happening until the 23rd of september virgo for you is in your seventh house so you can guess that your month is surrounded by romance right so some of you are getting married i do want to tell you and let you know that mercury retrograde is coming up on the 10th of september so unless you want to marry your ex i wouldn't recommend you to get married after the 10th of september okay if you do i don't want you to freak out right if you have mercury retrograde in your natal chart all good otherwise any contract you're making around this time just read the details very carefully read them well and you will be fine same with electronics i wouldn't recommend you to buy it but if you do just get yourself a ticket that if something happens you can return it so we have a full moon in your sign on the 10th of september and this is in your first house opposing the sun in the seventh so definitely some of you are going to hear from an ex or someone you've met before okay you might also meet someone new and this could be a past life love or you're going to make something work with someone from the past but it sends a definite romance in the air for you pisces you are really focused on love you're really focusing on business partnerships like it doesn't only need to be love like some of you are coming together with a business partner especially because Virgo rules the sixth house, which is also related to work and routines. So a lot of you Pisces are working together with romantic partners or having business partners, okay? We still have the North Node in your third house conjuncting Uranus. So some of you Pisces are studying um, astrology. Uh, some of you are studying something scientific uh, having an unexpected travel, maybe traveling or working as a di digital nomad, right? So maybe traveling around more, working as a digital nomad. It gives you the freedom that you've been looking for, okay? And on the 25th of September, we have a new moon in the sign of Libra, which is in your eighth house. So around this time, you're being asked to look into your finances, right? To look into your papers, get everything in order, or maybe you will get an answer to a court case, right? Especially since you have Libra, the justice system in your eighth house, a lot of you feel like you want to have justice in life, right? Especially justice for unfairness towards maybe the underdogs, right? Um, you have Jupiter in your second house, so you're definitely up for making more money. With Chiron there, it was a little bit complicated for the past few years. It's been a little bit painful to deal with money, 
but now there is a new chance of making money. This could be through teaching, this could be through a new job, maybe you're studying something new or simply getting a new job, right? And you have Neptune in the first house, <laughs> which is rules your sign. So you're incredibly intuitive at this time. The ideas are flowing to you, but you're also floating. So for some of you, you have to be careful for addictions at this time because, you know, you want to drink a little bit more wines than maybe you usually do. <laughs> I love wine as well. So, you know, I understand. Um, Saturn in the 12th house, so you're really closing down a big karmic cycle, okay? Some of you doing voluntary work, like you want to do voluntary work for the collective or maybe have a website where you're like helping people. You're a really generous sign in general, like you really want to help people, but sometimes you're losing yourself in the process of doing so, right? It's like... Wanting to help everybody is not always beneficial for you. Yeah, I'm getting generosity. So seeds of kindness. So, yeah, push your focus where you want to go. So don't give generous, generously to everyone, but pick the causes. Pick the people. Because I do see a lot of things are happening at the same time. You have maybe new love or maybe a commitment in love, right? New work. Maybe you're moving. We have Mars in the fourth house. Maybe you're moving, right? Some of you have two houses with Gemini there in the, in the fourth house, right? Because Gemini is the twins. So moving. Maybe you have a holiday home. Um, I'm getting adapt. You're being taught to adapt right now. Adapt, adapt to different situations. You will get yourself where you want to be. <clears throat> so maybe you're really thriving to go somewhere and you're not really sure how to get there. But you have to trust that what you want is coming to you. And I'm, it makes me really happy because I do think there is something you so, so, so desire and you're going to get it. It's going to work out. It's going to work out. And, you know, we have to be patient sometimes. Um... We have Pluto in the 11th house, trying the whole bunch in the 8th and 7th house. So, you know, it might actually be that at this time, your friends are being empowering you to make certain decisions when it comes to money and love. Because when it's trining, it's empowering. When it's squaring, it's controlling. So maybe your friends are pushing you towards a relationship uh, in a good way, in a way like, hey, let's do this. You need to do this. Go for it. Wallflower, look for the crack in the concrete and you find a way out. So maybe you've been feeling stuck in the same situation for quite some time and you had no idea how to get out of it. But suddenly you're going to see the light shining through the clouds. Uh, look at me and my poetic I'm a Virgo I'm super no I can be very poetic that's not true but yeah I really adore my Pisces people because they give me so much softness and you're my opposite sign right oh Pisces no way look at that we have the clovers so much luck is coming to you okay so much that you kind of don't know what to do with it. I feel like you feel like so going into rounds because you're like, what? What to do? It's actually here. What? Huh? What do I do with this? Okay. We're getting this man and a message. So for some of you, this is a message from a lover, an ex, but also it could be from a job. You know, a masculine in work is contacting you about something or a business partner. And the news is good. Look at that. It's good news. But you're like, what? So many things at the same time. I have no idea what to do with myself. Right? I'm getting mask or dropping. Like people are going to tell you the truth. And you're going to have to think about it. It's like, did that just happen? Wait a moment. 
I need to lay down and relax because this is a lot, okay? I feel this wow energy, like, huh, what, really? No. <laughs> so this is going to be the energies for you in September. I'm super hyped. Last card, Ooh. studying, right? Like I said, some of you are studying, but also you're opening a new book, a new book of something great, something amazing, and you freaking deserve it because you have been having a little bit of ups and downs, okay? and um but you deserve happiness you need to know that so this is my message for you my lovely lovely pisces i so adore you and thank you so much for your donations your support your love and you know if you want to keep up with my videos subscribe to my channel uh leave a comment below how this resonates with you and uh, if you're a dj let me know this is so funny okay Thank you so much and I hope to see you next time. Bye!